So we're here building a movement, a moral movement from the ground up to right these wrongs and to confront systemic racism and poverty, ecological devastation, the denial of health care, militarism, and this false narrative. So we're having a, a mass meeting like those that have come before and the real people that we're here to listen to are folks that are impacted. It's time that we make a real moral and political commitment to democracy, human rights, and values that this country has yet to live up to. When we lift from the bottom, everyone rise. Voter suppression is a huge problem right now. It affects all of us, but most of us don't know it. We're not thinking about the many ways that people are stopping us from putting other people in place who can help us. We deserve to have livable wages. We deserve to not be homeless. We deserve to not have to think about what we're going to eat the next day. Because after I served that five and a half years, I still have another 21 years. So for the entire 21 years, I'm going to work like a dog, and I'm going to pay taxes, but I'm not going to be able to vote. Who among us isn't more than our worst choice, right? Wayne Warren survived the battlefields of Vietnam. He was found frozen to death in one of Chicago's tent cities. This is how the poor are thanked for their service. Just because we are poor does not mean we should be treated poorly. And we will keep on coming until what is moral and what is right and what is good and what is fair and what is decent and what is compassionate and what is right and what is righteous includes everybody and falls like an ever flowing stream. We're coming and we're going to keep on coming until the nation does right by everybody. We're coming. When are we coming? Come on, choir, sing.